everybody and welcome back to my channel firstly I have to apologize for not putting up the video in such a long time but I'm back now with more exciting stuff and uh, today I thought I'll film this look for you it's a Sunday brunch makeup look something fresh something for the day not too much of drama but so awesome so if you want to see how I got this look Please keep watching. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to prep my skin with um, the Tiande Anti Acne Toner. Just gonna take a little bit of this in my hand. I'm not using a cotton pad, just passing it into my skin. Okay, next, I'm taking um, again my Tiande Anti Acne Facial gel it's a biocomplex gel just for the areas where i still have some breakouts okay, and i'm just dotting it and then i'm using my uh, tiande collagen active lifting eye contour cream and this is going to help with wrinkles it's going to stimulate collagen production as well as helping my dark circles so, okay. using my ring finger and tapping my finger on this eye socket hole because it's winter and I'm treating my skin I'm going to use this Tiande uh, Ling Chi Regeneration Cream it's going to help even out skin tone and moisturize my skin so I'm just going to take a little bit yes, not. sorry I was doing some swatching there okay now that my skin care is all done and ready for my makeup I'm going to prime my skin with um, the MAC prep and prime Okay, um, this primer has SPF of 50, so excellent for South African weather. Oh, this nail color, by the way, is um, the Revlon Gel nail polish, I think it's called. I'll link the nail polish description down below. The name. Okay, so for foundation, today we're going to be using my new favorite obsession which is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation okay so about uh, this much foundation I'm gonna use my finger and then taking my real techniques uh, makeup sponge Concealer, I'm going to be using this Estee Lauder highlighter. I've got a little twisty pen here. I'm just going to twist some. So, highlight my usual places down the center of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, my chin. I'm going back with the same sponge. Looks like a little tribal lady. It's gonna blend it all in. Okay, so uh, next I'm using my RCMA No Color Setting Powder to set my under eyes and everywhere that I've highlighted. Okay, so this is a translucent powder that doesn't really have some color so I'm just gonna open it and take a little on my palm and I'm taking the same sponge but on the pointy end it 
underarm. Then down my nose, so everywhere that I've highlighted. I'm just gonna leave my nose a bit too big because my nose tends to get a bit oily. So I'm just gonna leave the powder on there for a bit. I'll wipe it off just now. I'm going to contour and remember I just left that powder there. And I'm gonna try out this uh, Body Shop Darkening Shade Adjusting Drop. So I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna use this as a contour. This is the BH Cosmetics Concealer Brush in number 6. Tap a little on the brush. And taking a, a separate sponge. I'm just gonna blend that contour. Again using dabbing motions. Just set the contour with the powder uh, bronzer and I'm using the Stella Stay All Day Contouring Bronzer for face and body in the color medium. As you can see, I've used it a lot. Okay, and then I'm also taking a BH Cosmetics angled brush. Just brush, just give it a nice rub. Okay, so because we're doing a um, day look or a Sunday brunch look, uh, we're not gonna go too heavy on the contour, so just a light contour. But you still want to keep the look fresh, but you still also want to have your cheeks to Okay, I'm just going to wipe off this powder now on my nose. The powder brush. Just a Morphe um, big powder brush. And then I'm just going to use the same thing just to blend everything together. And I'm just going to use, and for that, I'm going to use my MAC Select Sheer Pressed powder in the shade NC45. So I'm just going to go all over my face, just popping everything in so, so it all looks like one. Just going to apply some lip balm, kind of being very dry. This is the strawberry flavored lip butter from the body shop. So before I go to the eyes, I'm just going to finish off my face. For so highlight, I'm going to use my Kali Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to see be using these two highlight shades here. Okay, I'm just going to mix them both together. I'm using a fan brush for that. But it's actually like a little goldy color and a champagne. And then on the high points of my cheekbones. Okay. And then on the other side, same thing. Down the center of my nose. And on my cupid's bow. The top of my cupid's bow. It's going to help my lips look a little bit bigger or fuller. For blush. I am going to pick up my favorite blush, which is from NYX. Pretty mauve pinky color. It's in the shade Buttersweet. So the shade. And a Real Techniques blush brush. I'm just tapping that in there. And then lightly dusting it just between my contour and my highlight. Oh, 
close off my face. Just going to give my cheeks some color. So next, I'm going to be filling in my brows, and I'm using the benefit browsing brow shaping. yeah going out and if you guys would like to have a separate brow tutorial then let me know in the comment section below I can do a separate video on how I fill in my brows so I'm just gonna speed this part up quickly Okay, so now we're going to move on to eyes and to start off my eyes, I'm going to prime them, uh, prime my eyelids with the, the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extend eye base. This is going to help your eyeshadow last all day long without creasing or fading. I like starting off with the base color because it's also helps me my colors better so I'm actually gonna go in with um, this Amorphe contour palette it's actually a contour and highlight palette and so I'm going to be picking up this highlight palette here As you can see this color here I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to place that all over my eyelid to give me a nice base Going into my Stiller palette, if you can really see it. Eyes are the window shadow palette in the shade Mind. So it's this palette here. Going into this mauve color here. And I'm going to use this color on my crease. So I'm just going to tap. Next, I'm going to take this Catrice Liquid Met Metal Eyeshadow in the color 40. It's called Under Treasure. It's a um, brass gold kind of shade. And, okay. and apply that at the centers of my eye. And then going back in with that blending brush and blending everything in. Okay, so next I'm going to be picking up this um, plum color here in the same palette and mixing it with this mold. So just to darken out the outer edges a little. I'm just adding that just here at the outer edges. Next, I'm going in with my NYX Liquid Black Liner, and I love using this liner for everyday use. Okay, after you make sure that. So both liners are equal or looking similar. Then we're going to move on to curling your lashes. Okay, so for mascara today, I am using the new Maybelline, the Falsy Push Up Drama. I'm loving this mascara, so I'm just going to add this on my top lashes. It's really nice, it gives me so much of volume. To open up my eyes, I'm actually going to be taking this Inglot Coil Pencil Liner. Just like a nude color. And I'm going to use that in the bottom waterline and that's just going to help open up my eyes. And then for mascara on my lower lash, 
I am going to be using this super new L'Oreal false la false lash wings winged scalp mascara look at this brush it's like a triangular flat brush okay so i found that it's really nice for my lower lashes so i just want to zoom in a little bit Look at my lower lashes. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I mean, I am in love with these mascaras. Okay, so to finish up the look, I'm going to line my lips. I actually wanted to use plum, but I don't know where it is. want the look to be too brown so I'm just gonna blend this chestnut liner in and then on my lips I am taking a Gerard Cosmetics liquid matte lipstick and this is in the shade sure Okay, so I'm going to finish off the look with my uh, Urban Decay setting spray, all nighter setting spray. Shake. Okay, and there you have it, the final look. so this is the final look thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and please try and recreate the look at home and if you do please don't forget to tag me on instagram on twitter you can even send me a snapchat all of my links will be uh, in the description box down below also um, you can click subscribe to my channel it's totally free and if you enjoyed this makeup look please don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, as i mentioned before if you really like the color of my nail polish i would put the name down in the description box for you as well and if there's anything new that you'd like me to do or a specific look that you'd like me to do please feel free to comment in the comment section below Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!